Turning to your money, chances are you or someone you know has had difficulty finding doctors still willing to take Medicare. The fact is a growing number of physicians say they usually lose money treating patients who have only the government health plan for coverage. Greg Grugan joins us here in the studio with news about a cry for help. Greg. Don, that cry came from Texas doctors who say they don't want to shut out seniors on Medicare, but with huge government cuts on the horizon, the alternative for them is eventual bankruptcy. Question, if your wages were cut 27% and you couldn't pay your bills, would you think about quitting? Half the doctors in Texas say it's a hard, ugly choice, but one they're strongly considering. If you're not under active treatment, I'm sorry, we cannot see you, and that's the discussion I have with my patients. Not all patients, mind you, just the lion's share of the most vulnerable, folks over 65 and the disabled, who depend largely on government-funded Medicare. They may have a card that says they're Medicare covered, but do they have a physician who will accept them? Here's the problem. Despite rising costs and inflation, doctors today are being paid to treat Medicare patients at the same rate they were a decade ago. Unless Congress acts by June 1st, a funding formula almost everyone agrees is flawed will slash physician reimbursement by more than a fourth. Thousands of doctors say that's a big enough blow to knock them out of business. I'm not going to be able to keep my office open, not just for my Medicare patients, but for all my patients. Now it's gotten to the point where I'm loaning my practice money from to pay my payroll. I can't do that. Congressman Kevin Brady's pledged his help and says this is no head fake by physicians. We can't keep doing what we're doing as a country in this area. We, we're damaging seniors. We're harming local physicians. We're driving up the cost of Medicare. That's because elderly patients who can't find a doctor have little choice but to seek care at expensive emergency rooms where they cannot be turned away. Bottom line? If you don't already have a physician, you're in big trouble. The 11,000 doctors of the Harris County Medical Society have proposed a solution. They are urging Congress to shift savings from the drawdown in Afghanistan and Iraq to improved reimbursement for Medicare, a move they believe would directly benefit millions of older Americans.